In this video, let's practice playing with the formula of permutation and combination. Here's the first problem. NC8 is equal to NC2 and we need to find the value of N. Pause the video, think about it. Okay, so here's an observation that we derived in the previous video. NCR is the same as NC N minus R. Number of ways of selecting R things out of N is same as number of ways of selecting N minus R things out of N. Now, if we compare these two, we can say that R is equal to eight and N minus R is equal to two. R is eight, which means N minus eight is equal to two. This gives us N is equal to 10. Pretty straightforward. 10 C eight is same as 10 C two. The number of ways of selecting eight out of 10 is same as number of ways of selecting two out of 10. Now, if we don't want to use this observation, we can use the formula of NCR to get the same result. Let's do that. NCR is N factorial by N minus R factorial times R factorial. So NC8, that's N factorial by N minus 8 factorial times 8 factorial. Similarly, NC2, that's N factorial by N minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial. We need to simplify this to find the value of N. N factorial cancels out. This is 1 by N minus 8 factorial times 8 factorial. Here we have 1 by N minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial. Let's cross multiply. We have n minus 2 factorial by n minus 8 factorial. And here we have 8 factorial by 2 factorial. On the right hand side, we have 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 divided by 2 times 1. So we stop at 3. Similarly, on the left hand side, we have these six terms n minus 2, n minus 3, n minus 4, n minus 5, n minus 6, and n minus 7. Anything below this, n minus 8 and onwards, will get cancelled out by n minus 8 factorial. So this is the equation that we need to solve. Now this is an equation of degree six. If we start multiplying and expanding, it will be a nightmare, but we can have a simple observation. This is a product of six consecutive integers, which are eight, seven, six, five, four, and three. We can compare any one on the left hand side with the corresponding one on the right hand side to get the value of n. Comparing the first term n minus two with eight, we get n minus two is equal to eight, which gives us n is equal to 10. So even using the formula for NCR, we get the same result. N is equal to 10. Let's solve another problem. 2NC3 is to NC3, that's equal to 12 is to 1. We need to find the value of N. Pause the video, try this out. So let's do this together. 2NC3, that's three terms in the numerator and three in the denominator. We start with 2N in the numerator and three in the denominator. So 2N times 2N minus one times 2N minus two divided by three times two times one. What's NC3? That's N times N minus one times N minus two divided by three times two times one. Now we need to find the ratio, which means we divide these two. Three times two times one cancel out. We have two N, two N minus one, two N minus two in the numerator and N, N minus one and N minus two in the denominator. Can we cancel something out? Yes, two N cancels out with N, we're left with two. And here two N minus two cancels out with N minus one we have a two here as well. So this becomes two times two n minus one times two divided by n minus two. This is equal to 12 is to one, which means that's equal to 12 by one. Here we have two times two, four, 12 by four is three. So this is two n minus one by n minus two equals to three. Cross multiplying, two n minus one is equal to three n minus six. Three n minus two n, that's n, that's equal to six minus one, that's equal to five. So the value of n is equal to five. Now let's practice permutation as well. n minus one P three is to n P four. That's equal to one is to nine. Find the value of n. Pause the video. Try this out. Okay. So we're selecting and arranging here. We have P which is permutation. So we're selecting and arranging three items out of n minus one. So n minus one P three, that's n minus one times n minus two times n minus three. Similarly, n P four, that's equal to n times n minus one times n minus two times n minus three four terms here, three terms here. If we divide these two, we get one is to nine. But if we divide these two, we cancel a lot of things. N minus one, N minus two, N minus three, all three cancel out. We're left with one by N, and that's equal to one by nine. Cross multiplying, we get N is equal to nine. One last problem, five P R is equal to two times six P R minus one. Find the value of R. Pause the video, try this out. Okay. So let's apply the formula for NPR N factorial by N minus R factorial. So five PR that's five factorial by five minus R factorial. Similarly, six PR minus one, 
that's six factorial by six minus r minus one factorial minus minus plus so this becomes six minus r plus one factorial that's seven minus r factorial and we're given that this five pr is twice of this six pr minus one so five factorial by five minus r factorial that's twice of six factorial by seven minus r factorial now let's simplify this five factorial and six factorial we can cancel six factorial by five factorial. We're left with six because six factorial is six times five factorial. The entire five factorial cancels out. So this becomes seven minus R factorial. If we cross multiply seven minus R factorial is equal to two times six times five minus R factorial. Now we can expand seven minus R factorial. There's five minus R factorial in it. Seven minus R factorial is seven minus R times one less than that. That's six minus R times one less than that, that's five minus R times one less than that and so on. Five minus R and all the terms that follow, we can combine them and say that that's equal to five minus R factorial. That's something that's also there on the right hand side. So we can cancel this out. We have seven minus R times six minus R is equal to 12. Product of two consecutive integers equal to 12. One of them is four, the other one is three. But since this is quadratic, we can expand. Let's see what we get. Seven times six is 42 minus 6r minus 7r plus r square equals to 12. 42 minus 12 is 30 minus 7 minus 6 is minus 13. We have r square minus 13r plus 30 equals to 0. We can split this 10 and 3. We have r square minus 3r minus 10r plus 30 equals to 0. Taking r common, we have r times r minus 3 minus taking 10 common, we have 10 times r minus 3. That's equal to 0. So we have r minus 10 times r minus 3 is equal to 0. Interestingly, we're getting two values of r, r is 3 or 10. Which one should we pick? Or should we pick both of them? Well, we can't pick 10, r can't be more than 5. That doesn't make sense. You can't select or arrange 10 items if you only start with 5. So r has to be 3, which means for this particular equation, r is equal to 3. 